Hey y'all, I've just come in from church and I just wanted to share a little something about my morning with you. I went to get dressed and put on my dress slacks and it didn't take me long to realize, hmm, this is gonna be a Spanx kind of Sunday. Yep. So I was in a hurry running behind and I reached in the drawer, grabbed out the Spanx, got dressed, grabbed my stuff, got in the car, headed to church. I was about three quarters of the way to church and realized, Houston, we've got a problem. Something wasn't feeling right. And y'all, I realized I had grabbed the wrong pair of Spanx. I grabbed the ones that I bought years ago when I was a lot smaller than I am now. And my belly had taken those Spanx and went bloop, 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 and rolled those things down, pushed them down like a tourniquet. And now I get to church. And I try to get out of the car, y'all. I can barely feel my feet and legs. And I'm thinking, great. This is just great. What am I going to do now? Here I am in the church parking lot. It ain't like I can pull my pants off and pull my spanks off. No. What am I going to do now? Plus, I can't stand up the whole time and preach it. Y'all, I am Baptist. I am not Pentecostal. We don't stand up in church except to sing a hymn. And even then, we have to be still. I'm just saying. Oh, I finally get enough feeling in my feet to make it across the parking lot to get inside. So when I sit down inside, I indiscreetly manage to get my hand up my shirt to grab the top of the Spanx to pull them up above my belly and hold them there the entire time I was in church. Y'all, can I just say, by the time I got to my car to come home, y'all, I was exhausted, absolutely exhausted. And I finally got home. I've never been so happy to get out of a pair of dress slacks in my life. But it didn't stop there. Oh, no. It didn't stop there. I go to pull those spanks off. And, y'all, do you know how that works whenever they're two to three sizes too small already? You got all this lycra and you're pulling it down and it rolled down to make another tourniquet about midway down my hips. Y'all, they weren't going down they weren't coming up. I am so thankful that I could waddle over to my nightstand and reach in and get the scissors and cut those suckers off. Yes, hallelujah, they are gone. I am free. I am free. And I am going to stay that way. No more spanks for this girl. I'm just going all natural. It is what it is. All right, ladies, I hope that just helps you. It sure helped me to get that off my chest and those spikes off of my hips. Until next time.